Santa's assaulted by Hindu nationalists at Indian Carnival. Hindu nationalists in India beat up a group of Santa Clauses on December 23rd who were out handing out who were handing out Christian books and chocolate at a zoo in Ahmedabad, India. The group, known as Bajrang Dal, accused the Santa Clauses of religious conversion and told them to quote unquote go back to their churches. The video of the incident where the two men wearing the costume of Saint Nick get beat up went viral on social media platforms. Uh, Javalit Mehta, the president of North Jugrat uh, Bajrang Dal, said, quote, when we went there to protest against the people who were doing religious conversion activity, there, were a, there was a clash with some of them. India is currently facing an upsurge in targeted attacks on Christians, churches, and missionaries over alleged coerced conversions. Similar incidents have happened during the festive season across the country, including church vandalizations, police reports against pastors, and attacks on villages. So, Casey Randy is saying Santa probably had it coming. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, I just had to cover this. I didn't, I mean, obviously, like, this happened almost a month ago, but I, I like, just found out about this, and so I was like, we have to talk about this. Because I don't, I don't know, Armin, like, the, okay, let's be honest. Like, mental image of Santa getting beat up. Like, it's, the mental image is pretty funny. But this actual event is, like, not funny because these are just, like, random dudes who happen to be dressed up as Santa Claus that get beat up just because, like, they're out being Christian. Yeah, yeah, it's because it, so for people who don't understand why this is happening, this is an anti Christian um, thing, right? Um, I mean, I mean, it's Santa, it's not like Jesus or anything. But I, I want to play the video of Santa's getting beaten up, but I can't do that on YouTube, right? That would get me in trouble well, on YouTube. So, actually. If you play that video, you skip to one minute in. It's not like the part in that wanna, video you see. It's not like them getting seriously beat up. It's just like slapped upside the head as they walk away. I don't want to try it. You don't want to risk it? Okay. I don't want to risk it. I'm going to get flagged on YouTube for violence and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And here's the thing. Um, like, yeah. they, there is a lot of tension in India and has been for many years regarding the issue of religious conversions and mass conversions. And there's, like, a historical basis for it and all this stuff. But with these particular guys, they were at this festival and they were apparently handing out books or maybe some leaflets and talking to people about Jesus, blah, blah, blah. Like... So people would say, okay, well, they are actually engaged in evangelizing. They are actually trying to convert people with their activity. Because there's been times before where, do you remember that time we um, Hindu nationalists freaked out and tried to shut down a school because they did a photo op with kids wearing Santa hats and they said that that was forced conversion? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's something that actually happened. So that's like hey, yo, Santa is just, like, a cool thing that a lot of different people love because it's it's actually, like, kind of pagan. <laughs> so, like, just wearing a Santa hat is not a religious conversion. But these guys actually were engaged in trying to, like, bring Christianity to people. So mm. people will be going, like, well, look, this proves that this is actually, like, their intention, blah, blah, blah. Whether or not their intention is to convert people... Under the Indian Constitution, you have a constitutional right to profess and propagate your religion. It's in the Constitution that you are allowed to propagate your religion. Yeah, I think at some point in India, anybody talking about like forced conversion is just going to be a term they use for anybody mentioning any religion other than Hinduism. Yeah. Yeah. Like they, it's just so they're just using the 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 idea of what is forced is completely has lost all its meaning in India. Mm-hmm. Any form mm-hmm. of invitation right now, invitation to anything, any Abrahamic religion is considered 
forced conversion in India. And just and now I know like some Hindu nationals are going to be like, oh, but I mean, there is forced conversion in, in India. Are you denying that there is forced conversion in India? Like, no, but you guys have used the, the fact that there are some certain things that are forced conversion in India. And now you're like using it as an evidence for everything being forced conversion. And I don't and I don't think people who think like that are even going to be listening to anything I say. I've noticed like a lot of people um, from India, when they have certain narratives, they don't really care about what other people say. They're just going to continue repeating their narrative. And like the other people from India, they're, like when they're reasoning to them, it just it doesn't really matter. You just like keep like acting like you're not hearing anything. You just wait for them to finish, and then you keep repeating the, the line that you had before again and again. Oh, we got a super chat. Oh, we okay, here we go. Gaijin American, thank you for the $5, Gaijin America, saying India should syn- syncretize Santa as Yashka Ferry, who then works for Lord Yama and gives presents according to good karma. That's how real pagans do it. <laughs> wait, oh my God, Don't what if there me. was like santa that did have to do with karma that'd be i mean i hate the whole conception of karma i think it's really evil but that would still be very interesting i wonder if you could do that in a fun way i wonder if you could do that in a fun way by the way everyone i forgot to say at the start of the show happy Mm. lunar new year it's chinese new year today so yeah i don't know what you say for chinese new year or lunar new year besides happy lunar new year but yeah, that's a lot of fun. So okay, look, I found one of these people that I just mentioned in the live chat, right? So this guy is one of those Hindutva, like crazy. I don't know. Look, look, um, Harish in the live chat is saying, "Keep your evil ideologies to yourself." Is talking about this is probably one of those Hindu nationalists talking about. I mean, usually I would agree with these people, you know, talking about religion like that. But these are not the type of people, you know, these are not, you know, you, you, as an atheist, you might read these and you'd be like, oh, that's kind of base anti-religious uh, comments. But nah, that's not the, you know, don't be fooled. <laughs> that's um, not where that's going. Yeah, that's not where that's going. That's basically, well, one, you know, people supporting one religion or culture over another. Um, look here, look at this. We don't need them. Abrahamic religions are bigoted to us. We won't allow them. And um, yeah, but so is Hinduism. Hinduism, you know, when it comes to, I, I agree with you. Re- Abrahamic religions are uh, have a lot of bigotry in them. Okay, but there is no religion. There is no religion in the world where bigotry is so foundational in its values than compared to Hinduism. Hinduism has 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 managed to master bigotry beyond any other religion okay i mean other religions have their own fair share of problems okay islam has obviously horrible teachings christianity judaism all of them have horrible teachings but bigotry you know judaism is a very you know has a lot of bigotry in them i would say actually christianity and islam as as problematic as they are you know bigotry is not necessarily a problem within Islam and Christianity, other horrible teachings are, but Judaism and Hinduism, yeah, bigotry, oof, oof. I mean, Hinduism has more bigotry even than Judaism in it. Like, it's weird how you could out... Hinduism has managed to outdo Judaism in bigotry. That is hard to do. You have a religion that is telling you that we are the chosen people, that our race is the chosen people. Everybody else is going to be slave at... It's going to become slaves at some point, okay? We have been chosen. Our ethnicity has been chosen by God. Okay, to top that off, when it comes to bigotry, that is hard to do. And how did Hinduism manage to t- do outdo Judaism in bigotry by doing bigotry by by hating upon its own people? So at least Judaism, was like, yeah, we're the chosen people. We're better than everybody else. Hinduism has managed to go within its own people. And we're like, yeah, we have we have actually bigoted against like Hindus as well. So not only we are better than other people within our own people, we're gonna even divide people, and we're gonna be like, we have a superior 
caste and then the then the lowest caste. Like we don't we don't we we are bigoted against our own people as well. That's how Hinduism has outdone Judaism in bigotry. Yeah. Like 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 you know how I said these people by these people I mean not all Hindus, okay? Just these specific people, right? Um, they just don't, they just keep repeating, like, these are suckers of Islam. We have <laughs> what? Not, I don't know. I <laughs> haven't have... heard that accusation in a while. Oh, that brings yeah. back fond memories. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. We have not genocide people like you do. <laughs> So self-preservation is our like these are people who like you cannot talk to they just like they're just like robots okay I, I, I like not they're not robots I don't want to dehumanize them okay but um okay this, this guy is bigot 101 I don't know what that means but okay it's amazing oh and then he accused you of takia he's saying you're faking yes yes yes. this yes, is yes. such a throwback armin like this yeah. is bringing me back you know like september 2020 like oof, heat of the sexy cali incident like this is yeah this is fond memories <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we have memories of people who talk like this. Stuff. But yeah, this is this person is correct. Uh, Mugabo is, uh, Mugambu is saying, Hindu text reinforces the vision of people. Even their stories and myths are all about uh, one's place. Yeah, based on your caste. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the next story because this is like very juicy and scandalous and there's a lot to unpack and we need to talk about it in a thoughtful and nuanced way okay i just like how we have like those crazy handed fuzz back in our life chat like like the old times i just want to, <laughs> I, could, I could just spend hours just highlighting this person's comment it just amazes me how i don't know yeah with like um, no response just like highlight just, and like it yeah. speaks for itself it's just it's so fascinating i just want to i just want to look at this guy and just poke at it so that i could get responses from it <laughs> i don't know <laughs> so predictable uh, too. yeah get my best-selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description <laughs> 